In today's quick get ready with me, I'm going to show you how I did my hair and this simple makeup look for a little get together I went to. Starting off with this, my hair looked like a bird's nest, so I definitely was in desperate need of a treatment. But I always start off washing my face first, so I'm using a vitamin C cleanser. Face first, always, right? <laughs> so for today's wash day lineup, I'm using Ovation hair products. I'm starting off with the shampoo, of course. I have their moisture line and their curly hair line, which I both love. They have a line for every hair type out there, but my favorite product of theirs has to be their cell therapy hair and scalp treatment. You use this in between your shampoo and conditioner and it promotes thicker stronger and longer hair it's clinically proven to reduce hair breakage by 80 percent after just one use so naturally i use a big glob of it since my hair is long and i want to make sure it's all over my hair and scalp i leave it on for three to five minutes and then move on to conditioning like usual i had to really detangle because my hair was super knotty but it ended up being really smooth after using the product closet time do we want to wear something cute or comfy hmm. hard choice but i'm gonna go with cute because 99 percent of the time i am in something comfy so for skincare i'm using the charlotte tilbury magic line this serum is nice and light it makes my skin look really glowy after i use it so i'm putting that on all over then I'm using the Magic Eye Rescue to moisturize my under eye area. I always use my ring finger and pat it on under my eye and upward. Then I use the Magic Cream to moisturize my skin. I like this because it's light, but sometimes I feel like I wish it was a little more moisturizing because my skin gets dry in the colder weather. And sometimes it still tends to be dry after using it, but it's still new to me, so I'm giving it a chance. Moving on to hair, so I'm using the TPH Hot Commodity Heat Protectant Spray. I put that all over my hair. So after washing, I let my hair air dry as much as possible and then dry the rest of it straight so that it would be easy to work with for my deep waver. This deep waver is from Heritage by Mindy and it's the best deep waver I've ever used. I love it. It makes my hair look so shiny after using it. I definitely had to speed up the process, but it took about an hour to do. So the waves look the tightest after, you know, you just finish kind of crimping them, but they do fall a little bit. And I feel like I love the way it looks once they do fall because it's a really nice, like pretty wave at the end. Now for makeup, I use the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. It has SPF 30 in it. And I like that it just rolls on really easily. It gives just the right amount. It doesn't feel cakey. It's pretty light. So I just dab that in all over my face. Then I use the Revlon Colorstay Concealer under my eyes and all the points where the light hits. I let it sit for a bit because it blends better when it's a little bit drier. Not dry, just a little bit drier, not super wet. And I contour my whole face with Hoola Bronzer. That's one of my favorite bronzers. Obviously, I like contour, so I kind of just go in everywhere to bring some warmth to my face. And then once I'm done with that, I dab in the concealer and I feel like it stays in place better that way. This NARS cheek palette is my favorite. My go-to blush is the peach color, so I just blend it into my liking, put as much as I need to, it layers on really nicely. And don't forget to smile when you're putting blush on because it just helps. <laughs> I'm using the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. I really work it in there. One side of my lashes are a little bit longer than the other side, so I really take my time on my lashes. And I got a little visitor. <laughs> Baby Isla wanted to say hi. She's getting so big. Okay, now highlighting using Bare Minerals. This color is so bright. I just really like highlighting. I feel like it adds a nice touch to your makeup look. I put it on the bridge and tip of my nose, my cheeks, and my cupid's bow. For my brows, I just got this set from Mad Love, so I had to try a few stencils to get it right, so I did that off camera. But I might do a review of this later, so let me know if you're interested. Now for the scent of the night, this Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid is amazing. It smells so good, like a mix of sweet, grown woman, it smells so good. And that's it. I'm ready to head out. Thanks for joining and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.